Hello everybody, this is your boy Jujizi, and I am back, and you guessed it, another Disney Gargoyle review. As you can see by the thumbnail and the title, we are doing a review on Disney Gargoyle Armored Xanatos. Before I even start this review, I want to give a special shout out to Wild Honey Clothing, that is my sponsor, you guys know, and Back Body Mystery. Once again, you guys know, anytime we're doing Gargoyle reviews, I have a special guest, Foxy Xanatos. Foxy Xanatos, introduce yourself. It is I, Foxy Xanatos, and I am here with... The gargoyle and do Jeezy, and I'm showing y'all what I got in my collection yet again. Because the last time we just did the steel gargoyle, now we doing David Zanatos himself, which is kind of where I got my name from. So, uh, as you can see by the box, it has David Zanatos, aka the armor Zanatos, on the side. It turns to the front. It's got you know armor Zanatos with his uh, human head with the, with the suit, which by the way is badass. I'm sorry, kids. Um, <laughs> it's badass. Turn to the side, it has the armor head actually that mm -hmm. you know, like Iron Man, it does all the extra stuff. Mm -hmm. And then this fits to the back. Spicy, give us a you know a quick review of who David Zanatos was in the Gargoyle series. So basically, he was the one that kind of brought the gargoyles back after being gone for like a hundred years. They was in stone because of a spell. And he came across the spell book because he basically is like a treasure hunter. And that's how he found it. He found out what gargoyles was. He found out where they were in New York City. And the rest is history. It is. Shout out to, you know, my boy, Mr. Organic, a.k.a. Gargoyle Gang. Get the gang, the gang, gang, the gang. Three of them. Shout out to Mr. Organic. But enough about all that stuff, man. We just had have fun. We're going to take this uh, armor down out of the box, show you all the accessories on the table. And before we talk about that armor party seven is going to talk about all the accessories and she's going to give you more background about each accessory piece of stuff like that. So I hope you guys are ready. You ready, Foxy? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, you guys stay tuned. All right, you guys, you can see we have taken everything out of the box. But before we talk about that armor Xenotope, we're going to talk about all the accessories. And once again, you know, Disney Gargoyles do not disappoint with accessories. I love accessories <laughs> when it comes to figures because the more accessories you have, the more you can kind of make your scene realistic. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Foxy? The same, you think you feel the same way? I think the wings are my favorite part because they made of them course. big. Of course. Like they actually have it in the crazy cartoon. So as you guys can see, these wings are really, really huge. And if you have seen the last video of the uh, Steel Clan Robot, please check that one out as well. Uh, and, um, you know, they just, they dope. Uh, these gargoyle figures are really nice. I'm so glad she has these. We can do a review on them. Me too. And as you have her talking about it more, because she is knowledgeable of this stuff. And she actually put me on something when it comes to Power Rangers <laughs> real quick as a side note. So I don't know if you guys know this, but I don't know if you remember Beetleborgs. You know, it was but, VR Troopers. I'm sorry, you're right. VR Troopers. VR Troopers. I didn't know that JDF originally started on VR Troopers yep. before he moved over to Power, Power Rangers. Rangers. And she also told yep. me that his theme music came from vr troopers so that's one thing i did not know mm -hmm. when it came to jd power himself so i'm, I'm actually like kind of like baffled mind blown, mind blown yeah. that if i don't know a lot about power rangers but she knew that yep. and that's like a foundation piece but i just want to talk about that as a side note yeah. but nonetheless you guys are going to talk about these uh accessories so we're going to talk about these these fists so i'm going to get foxy one as i'm holding one in the camera so she can give you her, her input on one and so all i can say is yeah they they did their thing with this for a fifty dollar figure, I am definitely impressed. I am definitely definitely impressed. And the the artwork, like they really went into hardcore detail with every finger on every knuckle on the back of the hand, and even the way that the fist is like balled up. And I like the way they did the gray and the silver and the kind of like the mm -hmm. color contrast. I do like that a lot. I think yeah, these these are really really nice. I yeah. wish he had something to hold. <laughs> but you know, you, you know, beggars can't be choosers. You know what I'm saying? So then he got another set of hands. He come with a lot of hands, which I do like. So then <laughs> he got the hands. He got another, uh, another uh, set of hands that can hold. Well, these are closed clothes, actually. So these are like solid clothes. Did you see yours? So the one I had was solid clothes, and the one you had must have been partly. Open okay, because, so yeah. Uh, so I messed up, y'all. I messed up. <laughs> so here go the one that's closed that's the one that's fully closed yes this yeah. was that was the first one i yeah. had so so you but you already showed the one that was open yeah so now we showed the one that's closed so okay. that's why i gave you that one so you already had it so you kind of already talked about it but yeah. yeah okay you know editing error my bad you know what i'm saying <laughs> but yeah they, these are fully closed so i guess you make like a fist but once again the silver is great um look like claws yes and i dropped it my bad 
uh what you think about doing yeah the the same thing so the i one thing i did listen to you say about the one the call you had because you said you could hold something with it the other one had it where if you was to like get one of the staffs from like one of the other figures or if he used his tail as a weapon, I'm pretty sure you can put it in that Did hand. they ever use any tail? It was a mechanical so robot. It they was had a mechanical thing. They had like rocket launchers and, right. and they was robots, so they didn't need to use the tail. They were smashing no, bricks and stuff. But yeah. because they gave you the hands that was okay. open, I was just saying like that you can use it as okay. a weapon because they didn't give you anything to put yeah. in his hand. No. Now, I do like these clothes fits. They're pretty nice. I'll never use them. Foxy might use them, but I, you the know, clothes be, fist? yeah, I don't really care for the clothes fits. So <laughs> I like the well. So the claws out is I like those better mm-hmm. than the clothes fist mm-hmm. because it's a gargoyle. He's supposed to, you know, claw your eyes out, scratch you, all that stuff. Clothes fist is fighting like a human. Yeah, he doesn't. He does. You know, give you that one. Girl. He give you that one headed quarter with that clothes right. fist. Now we are we got the open hand, and once again, you got this thing looks amazing. Yeah uh foxy has one on her hand too so i'm gonna let her talk for a minute but i love this open hand this is one i would use these are my gargoyles i would keep these on at all times this one is like the defensive open hand because if you look at how the thumb is like bent inward it's not for attacking it's for like shielding or blocking so this one is like if somebody come at them and they put their hand up that's what it is I mean, I mean, they can also be like, you know, they get knocked down, you know, grab onto a wall because they got yeah, they got to open too. their hand, to, you know, and grip and fall down. That's you know? too. So, I, yeah, down. I just like the way articulation wise and the color, they just really did the, they did it really good justice with the dark gray to like the medium gray to like the silver. I, I love Look these underneath the fingers. Yeah, and you then they got the, the black detail. accent. I love these hands. I'm you sorry. See the detail yep. underneath the fingers. Yeah. Where it's like, you know, how we have knuckles. That's kind of what they do yes, yes. on here. Yes. I love these hands. These are the one I would use. I, I love these to death. <laughs> so I love these to death. So I know Foxy still, she's still looking at her. She can't get over. She's probably going to play with this thing after we get done filming you guys. Probably. But uh, then we have these little um, effect pieces like when she's um, flying. So this is like, if you've ever seen like an IMF figure where you got the little mm-hmm. pulsar thing at the bottom. So these are the small ones. They're going to need the feet. Yeah. Uh, I love the. Uh, the translucent color yep. it starts clear and it goes yep. up to like a, a solid that's my i like part. i like that a lot and these are small ones and they have one big one as you can see in frame we'll get to that one in a minute yeah uh, i was thinking about that one i like the same thing you like the, okay. the translucent all the way into like the clouded part mm-hmm. when it's like at the end of the flame because mm-hmm. that's, like that's where it's the hottest yeah so they did that but then you got the big boy let you know he he in the air right there on that the boy back. that boy flying it's only one of these yeah. you know what i'm saying but i like the the clear here the translucent and it just fades up to the solid so that's how fire really is believe it or not if you guys mm-hmm. don't know if you had to play with fire i definitely played with fire <laughs> yeah. when i was younger i'm pretty that's sure foxy has too yes so yeah but i love these these are these are awesome these are awesome and then of course you got these hand these wrist blasters so this is the only weapon they had i was kind of upset when i only seen these now david zanatov was a very very smart man he reminds me yeah, of Rocky. He reminds me of Lex Luthor, Lex Luthor or yeah. you know like Iron Man or like yeah. Batman. Like you made this crazy, incredible gargoyle suit that mimicked the gargoyles. Now you get yourself was a <laughs> rocket blaster. So you didn't get yourself no extra lightning effect, no nope. shield. You nope. just and I get it. It was a '90s cartoon, you guys. I totally understand it. But Marvel was still out the end. You know what I'm saying? DC was still out the end. Like we could have stole <laughs> something from them. You know what I'm saying with these armor suits? What you think about these? Uh, these risk uh rocket the launchers. Bla- the blasters, like this was like his whole aesthetic when he was making the gargoyles because he put them into the steel clan before he made his own suit. So you know what I'm saying? It was his thing, it was his one up on, you know, the gargoyles. They didn't have firepower and he did. So he felt like the ones on his hands would should be good enough. So yeah, she's right. I mean, they didn't have any. They had super strength though. Right. They, they was definitely when and they he was gonna try to shoot them and off. When, the and when when they asked, when they, they asked there. her colors, they it meant over. business. They was yeah. like, they was coming to kill now. They growling and stuff like that. Yeah. Now, if you guys notice, it's it's color coordinated. It's like boomerang. You yep. got to coordinate. So the fact that the Steel <laughs> Clan had the color coordination on his, and now uh, Armored Xenotos has the red. Yeah. So I do like that. I lo- and red is one of my favorite colors too, other than blues overall. But he stands out. And that's what I do like about these, these 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 um, these blasters. Now, mm-hmm. these wings, Lord, let's get into Lord, it. Have mercy. Let's I, get into it. I'm gonna let Fassie talk about these wings while I'm just you know rotating this thing in my hand. So Jesus Christ, these 
wings are almost like actual size because when you were watching the cartoon their wings were huge like they let out like if you saw a griffin or something like that flying right now with them long wings that's that's what that's what it is gargoyles are real i don't care what y'all think so they, their wingspan is ferocious so the fact that they actually made the wings for the figures as big as they did they were staying true to the gargoyle design and these are just the steel figures wait till y'all see the actual gargoyle figure because we got plenty more we got plenty more <laughs> We, you know, real life happens with us, you guys. Y'all don't understand. Yes. Like we work full time yes. and still come home and try to do this stuff. So yeah. you guys understand this is this is hard work. In the words, you know, my man from you know, white man can't jump. It's hard work. You know what I'm saying? Being this pretty, you know. <laughs> Shout out to Wesley Snipes. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, what she picking up? What she said though? These wings are awesome. They line up perfectly. I love mm -hmm. the way it's a good hard plastic. It's not mm -hmm. too flimsy. They got like some little pearl glossy accents some little stuff in there if i get closer yeah, you guys you can, can see like, you can see the flakes it's, it's like a flake so and they line up perfectly man you got the little thing here these things are bad i'm sorry i see why she likes you so much these things are huge did you flip them over yeah i did okay. i yeah so i flipped them so you see how the lines just connect when you open yeah. them so this is how they're supposed to be open up. like these things are and the wings sick. man when, when you put it on the figure yeah it's huge. so i can't wait to put these on dude and by the way please watch the b-roll footage so y'all can see what they look like with it on. Because y'all know how I do. Y'all know how I roll my videos. Stop playing with me, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so these wings are, are awesome. She loves these things. She just can't stop playing with them. That's what I think the, really the gargoyles itself, I think each character, they set of wings is just. Is every character It's going to be different. different. And I can't wait to see the rest of yeah. these guys and see what their wings look like when they're on. But yeah. this is the Armor Xanatos, guys. This is all of his, um, these, all these accessories, not details. So sorry. His accessories, you guys. So. We done with that. I know we was a little long with it with that. And I'm sorry, guys, but we're gonna get to the main on the main course, which is the armored Xanatos himself. You guys should stay tuned. All right, you guys, as you can see, I am back and I got the armor Xanatos on a turntable, and oh my god! And I I thought the armored steel clan was badass. This one with the red. Oh, yeah. Foxy, this one with the red is yeah. sick. This one is sick. It's shout out to Big Bad Toys. It's shining. Shout out to Big Bad Toys. You know what I'm saying? Remember that remark you made about Iron Man? About yes. yeah, that's how yes. that's this some Iron Man stuff. Yeah. He he be flashy just like this. Yep. So as you can see, guys, I have his armor head in his hand because he actually used to hold it. I think he took didn't he just take it off? It never like yeah. retracted that he just literally pulled it, he just came off. Well, that's how it started. Okay. Later on, okay. yeah, he got a little bit more advanced. Okay. Every time he do something. He tried to outdo it and do it better the next time okay. around. So. Yeah, so he made himself red because he wanted to show that he was a leader yep. of the steel clan. So he did a red. You know, red stands out, but the the, the detail in this gargoyle thing, mm -hmm. like he got, he's the only one. That, I guess he got that that necklace. I guess that little uh, pipe. I guess for him to breathe. That's for him to breathe. I figured. Mm -hmm. I figured that. So, uh, Foxy gonna take it off the turntable, uh, so I can get a closer view to get you guys a closer view of the uh of the gargoyle itself. Let's take it off. Take the head with you. Thank you. So as you can it see, was I know what. So as you can see, we got David Xanatos. The head. Now I know you're like, damn, his head's small. Of course <laughs> it's small. It has to be small because they have to put it inside of an armored head. So look at these claws, like Jesus. Like, yeah, mm -hmm. this this thing is just nasty. These just the fight, nasty. those are the fight claws. Those are the fight claws. You can see it's got that double joint here. This does come off, you guys, for the uh what you call it? the blasters? The blasters. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it does come off of that. He got the nice here. This is what makes him stand out because his his suit was kind of unique, mm -hmm. as you can see. So it stands yeah, out. That breathing apparatus. The shoulder pad there. does come up, which I do like. It is very flexible. I do like that nice hard plastic. Uh, as you go down here, this thing is really stiff. Let's see, we got this waist. The waist not bad. It's a suit, so it's not meant to be bent like crazy, but it's a very big suit, nice and heavy, which I do like. Good PVC plastic on this thing. Um, as you got double jointed knees, so it does go up pretty high. The claws on his feet do tilt up, as you can see. So it does have some good possibility as well. Oh man, these feet are huge. Yeah. Like, no <laughs> these feet are huge. Okay. Once again, I'm going to say that the feet are huge. So you got the claw here. Like I say, great detail with this gargoyle figure, man. Yeah. Like, great, they, great detail. They went to the nitty gritty on Yeah, this. they did. So for 50 bucks, because that's mm -hmm. how much it was. Retail was $49.99, mm -hmm. Big Bad Toys. Or if you happen to go in a Target, or Target, <laughs> you may catch them in the in like some. They got them in like a special section, like Charles, but they got like yep. 
certain toys certain, you, in that certain yeah. area. You have to like really go in there and look for yeah. them. And the only way you can find them on the Target website is if you know what you're looking for. Yeah. So once you got a double joint here, Foxy, this thing is nasty. Mm -hmm. I look, I look, he might be one of my favorites. I'm not going to mm -hmm. lie to you. And, I, and I'm all about the bad guys. Don't get me wrong. But this <laughs> thing is like stupid. Yeah. This thing he is stupid. He made it especially for him. And yeah. He used the schematic of the actual gargoyles to build it. Yes. And that's why he has the breathing apparatus on the front. Yeah. So, you know, it doesn't have a lot of um, shoulder bend. As you can see, you don't really, it's a machine. So it's not mm -hmm. made for him to really stretch fully out because mm -hmm. uh, he really used this for combat. But I do love these. I love the way this thing is set up. So what I'm going to do, you guys, I am going to actually pop his head off on scene and put the other head on. So we're going to pop that off. Get this out. We're going to put this armor head on. There we go. And bang. Bang, bang, That's what you look trying. like with that with that head. Woo! That mm -hmm. thing that thing is sick with the red ears, just like the steel clan. And he had the audacity to give himself more drapes like Goliath. Yeah, he Zanatos did. already had a ponytail. He, he made did. his Goliath head yep. steel head he did. with long hair. He did. So right. I, I told Foxy I'm actually put these wings on on scene. I hope I do these right. So you guys just bear with us. So Let's find yep. out. Yeah. There we go. So that's one. Stiff, but yeah. yeah, that's one, y'all. <laughs> this thing is stiff. Hold that for a second, Foxy. Yeah, this thing is stiff, and you got to make sure you line it up with the hair, because the hair is in the way, so mm -hmm. that doesn't help. You know, put this on here. So yes, this is actual size. Actual size. There we go. Yeah. Oh Jesus Christ! You got it. You heard okay. the wings. Yeah, y'all heard. I know y'all heard that pop. Because if y'all didn't, I did. Oh my God, he's actually heavy now. Yep. Yes. The actually. wings add weight. Yeah. Oh Lord, have mercy. So you gonna have to. Yeah, I'm gonna stand to, them up a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. to play and with you this. see how the wings are, um, what's it called? Ooh, Diverse. Jesus. You can move them around any which way. Like yes. they can be straight out. They can be on an angle. Whatever suits your fancy. Yeah, man, this thing is O D. So you gotta stand it up. A yeah, I worry about that. I don't worry about the blast later. But this thing is O D. Angle is D. Yeah, he he definitely uh. Yeah, this thing is definitely definitely tall. With the wings. Yep. Luckily, the tail does balance him out, mm -hmm. which I do like. The tail does balance him out. I'm going straight out. Yeah. Oh man. So with these wings, his waist is not as strong. It's actually is. You see how it's leaning because yeah. the wings are that heavy. So yeah, they're the, yep. That's why yeah. I said you got to angle them a certain way now. Yeah. I got to stand up. Yeah, I got to figure yep. that. Out. Yep. Okay, you can put them there on the back. Like, just put them on back on the turntable real quick. Ooh man, that was a lot of work, y'all. Man, that was a lot of work. Yeah, man. Okay. So that was a lot of work. That made my arms tight, believe it or not. <laughs> that made my arms tight. Look tired. at that wingspan. Yeah. yeah, that wingspan. That wingspan is, is sick. I do love that wingspan. All right, you guys. This is the armored Xanatos, man. Yep. So we're going to give it a rating. I'm going with a 10. Right. Because I, I, I man, even with the heavy Straight wings, because the they're heavy as hell. Yeah, I'm giving mm -hmm. it 10. Fight what you got for it. 10. You have to ask me. I said the same thing as you. Man, I think put in some work, man. I think man, he worked on God. You know <laughs> my arms are tired. Sweat. Out, yeah, and I am sweating, believe it or not. <laughs> I don't be sweating with you, but I sweated on this one. Um, But that's it, you guys. I give this a 10. Yep. Colors, you know, articulation, the way it bends, flexibility, the posability, everything to me is, is you on change point. Heads. And you can change his head, you can change the hands in it. Yep. Um, this thing is nasty, uh, super nasty. So hopefully she can she probably will put both of these up on her on her own uh, Instagram page mm -hmm. at Foxy Xenatos. Because you got two, mm -hmm. but we only gonna do the one strictly for the you know for all the stuff. So the mm -hmm. Foxy Xenatos. Um, this is going on my YouTube page, Reason Collectibles. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Make sure y'all go to uh, her Instagram. Y'all follow her. Mm -hmm. Also follow her on Twitch. You know what I'm saying? Fox Xenatos, you're not gaming, nice stuff. Y'all know how we get out. 
Shout out to Spider Man Two coming out Thursday. Yes, you know what I'm saying. So you already know what she gonna be on stream. Week. I think Friday because the game comes out yep, Thursday night. Thursday night. Yep. So she so probably be streaming, streaming Friday, and I'll be on on my version playing man, but I'll probably be talking to her on hers and playing man at the same mm-hmm. time. Um, uh, so shout out to anybody who pre ordered uh Spider Man Two because y'all know it's gonna be but it's gonna go down when Spider Man Two drops. Can't wait to play it. Uh, man, shout out to my inspirations. Tall guy, car views, Mr. Organic. I mean, the Hellcat, Life of Corey, CJ on 32s. You want me to shout out? Uh, Run the Goddess and Keys did it. You know, they be on uh Instagram and Run the Goddess, her Twitch be busting. That's my girl. I love watching her. So, you know what I'm saying? Keys did it. He be doing the planets, and both of them just dope as hell. And I ran into him on YouTube and Twitch. So, that's how I came across him. So, I'm gonna shout him out. All right, y'all heard her. You know what I'm saying? Once again, shout out to my sponsor, 100 Clothing, Romy Rome. I see you. Uh, once again, you guys, I am coming with the shirts to my channel. So, you guys want to purchase 100 shirts and we'll have them soon, as well as a Patreon, as well as super fans. I got a lot of stuff coming, you guys. So, please just bear with me. I'm trying to get all that stuff done behind the scenes. It'll take a little bit longer than I thought, but I promise you, I'll have it done. Shout out to Black Rider Mystery. I know he has not done any videos in a while. He's coming, y'all. He got, he got like videos just split up in storage, you guys. He's just working full time like we are, man. So he hasn't had time to mm-hmm. sit down and do it, but he will bring some stuff. So make sure y'all subscribe it. Run his subscriber count up, man. I want to get him to 1,000 so and get monetized like your boy himself. Mm-hmm. You know that good stuff, man. That's pretty much it for this video. Y'all make sure y'all watch that B roll footage. I greatly appreciate it. Foxy, any last things you want to say? Uh, Follow me on Twitch and TikTok. That's normally where I get busted. I'm a pop collector. So I'll be having a bunch of YouTube shorts coming soon because I'm finna. Start doing that, and then y'all will see more in-depth review about gargoyles on my page, too, because that's pretty much my main go-to that I talk about. That's like my ultimate favorite cartoon in the whole wide world, so. Y'all heard it, y'all. Y'all know my slogan, because I got an outro like I always do best. Y'all know how I go. This is your boy, Drew Jeezy, and Foxy Genitals. Competition <laughs> is always easy. You guys, you guys be safe. safe. You, you guys, guys be blessed. blessed. See you next time, you guys. I am he out. is out. She was trying to take my lines. Yeah, I, I heard her right. Just, oh, we man. are. Deuces.